three Tour of Flanders titles, three wins at Paris-Roubaix and some 11 victories in the semi-classics. Johan Moser's triumphs were as historic as the cobbles on which they were won. But the man they call the Lion of Flanders might so easily have made his name at the Tour de France instead. In his very first attempt at the Grand Tour, a 24-year-old Moser won two stages and came runner-up in the green jersey. I was a sprinter. Uh, I was riding with a lot of formation. Uh, I won a lot of sprints. I was the sprinter of the team. But uh, at the end of the year, I get a contract of Patrick Lefebvre and I get to uh, an Italian team. So uh, we have make a transformation about me. So uh, I don't have to sprint anymore. I have to prepare for the classics. And one year later, I won my first Tour de Flanders. I was fast after a hard race, but I wasn't a sprinter as Cipollini, Abdu Japarov, as Tom Stills. I was fast, but not fast enough to say I was a sprinter. I was more a classic rider. With a relentless record of wins, the dangerous and unpredictable Pavé made him a hero. But in 1998, they were almost his ultimate undoing. A fall in Paris-Roubaix shattered his knee, an infection threatened him with amputation. Shortly after, a motorbike accident put him in a coma for eight days. He was to find glory again in a race that brought him destruction, but it would be a hard battle. Everything is difficult in the beginning, uh, even to walk, even uh, to, to eat. I, you have to learn everything again. Um, but after a couple of months, if you can biking, you feel progression. And after one year, you feel the same again. So it's hard, but you have to motivate, uh, because um, motivation is everything. It's all between the years. Everything is between the years. The motivation was to win again uh, Flanders or Roubaix. So after my uh, engine in Paris-Roubaix, two years later, I won again uh, Paris-Roubaix. So maybe that was the biggest victory for me. After eight days in Combe, I win again two World Cup races. I won 13 World Cup races. And that was my motivation each year, to win Flanders, Roubaix or another World Cup race. That winning motivation encouraged Musel to hone his skills further. Back in the formative years of bike science, he pioneered the use of the latest technological advances and many training methods. Because of the terrain being more difficult now, the trainers have changed their technique. Before, I just used to ride for six hours at 30 kilometers an hour. But now, with the involvement of computers and heart rate monitors, a lot has changed. Everything is more accurate. Now, I know scientifically whether I've had a good training session. Whereas before, I would just ask myself whether I trained hard enough or too hard. With these methods, you can't question anything. Podium after podium, he confirmed his status by becoming world champion in 1996. I would uh, treat two times World Cup winner and one time uh, world champion. Uh, to be honest, uh, I have to say, to come, world champion is something big but to win the world champion is something special but the year after each race you can wear the, the world jersey it gives a special feeling so i have to say to win the worlds in lugana in 86 was for me the highlight the title sealed his place in the rich and successful history of belgian cycling following in the tracks of Rick van Steenberg, Freddie Martens and, of course, Eddie Merckx. Having equaled Museo's record three wins in Flanders in 2012, Tom Bonin has arguably taken on the baton, but who follows him seems undecided. After Bonin, we have nobody. So we still have now Bonin, he's a winner. And other countries coming, Australia and other countries, they're coming. Uh, without uh, have experience here. They make the experience, the preparation over there in Australia. That means uh, they have already think about everything. So we have to be careful. Uh, now we can still say we are the country of cycling. 
But I'm afraid in about five years, you can't say that anymore. The pull of the big money and big status at the Tour de France may be luring young talent elsewhere. But for the man who came to conquer them, there can be no better feeling than winning on the cobbles. The Tour de France takes everything. Uh, if you prepare and if you win and if you are successful in the Tour, then it's great. Uh, but to say Paris-Roubaix, Tour de Flanders, it's similar as uh, to win on the Champs-Élysées. It's similar, it's the same. But I prefer to win Paris-Roubaix or Tour de France. Um, a victory stage you can win each year as a sprinter. Uh, it's difficult to win each year Paris-Roubaix or Tour de France. All the media is on the Tour de France. And to be honest, uh, if you have publicity on the Tour de France, take it because you get more than on the classics. But inside, my heart say the classics are very important.